Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. Well, we're two days away from the big fight between Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor that will take place on Saturday in Las Vegas, Nevada at the T-Mobile Arena. All right, man. Um, look, depending on what happens Saturday, you know, you're going to have a debate. You're going to have a conversation between the Floyd Mayweather fans, the Floyd Mayweather detractors, the... Uh, casual boxing followers you're just going to have a lot of conversation period surrounding this fight and the aftermath of this fight no matter who wins but let's just talk about if Floyd Mayweather wins this fight most people expect Floyd Mayweather to win this fight but the question is how Floyd is going to win this fight is Floyd going to go to distance which most people don't want to see Floyd go to this, or is Floyd going to try to knock Conor McGregor out? And will he knock Conor McGregor out? Let's just say, for argument's sake, Floyd Mayweather looks sensational. I'm talking about he just looked like the old Floyd, you know, the dominant Floyd dude that used to get guys out of there. I'm talking about pretty boy Floyd, not Floyd Money Mayweather. And let's just say he stops Conor McGregor within five, six rounds. People are going to be begging Floyd to fight again. And once again, I really think that Floyd will get a record $200 million offer. That's just for the fight itself from Showtime, depending on what type of numbers it does. I think this fight is going to do at least 2 million pay-per-view buys. People say it's on pace to have the biggest live gate ever so. This fight is going to be successful in most cases, you know, by anybody with sense uh, standards. But the Floyd haters, the Floyd lovers, and the mediocre, average, casual boxing fans will all be asking this question, will we see Floyd again after this fight? I expect Showtime to offer Floyd a record-breaking uh contract for one more fight and people will ask Floyd is there one more fight left in him I think it is I, I think Floyd will do it I'm almost I'll say it's I'll say it's 50 50 once again that Floyd comes back but it has to be the right opponent you already know Floyd is going to pick the best lucrative fight and at this point in his career, what he may deem safest fight. But to me, I don't think there's any fight out there that's safe for Floyd. Everybody is a threat to Floyd Mayweather at, you know, at this stage of his career. Floyd is 40 years old. Even though if he was to fight the younger guys like, you know, the Sean Porters, the Errol Spence, uh, the Crawford, the Keith Thurman, the Danny Garcia, you know, guys like that, Floyd would still be favored because he hasn't lost and it would, it, it would be intriguing, but at the end of the day, Floyd is going to look for a fight that he think could bring him the most money. You know, and, would, and what would be deemed like a safer fight for Floyd. But as I said before, depending on what happens Saturday, if it's a lot of who I and O's, you know, in particularly coming on the, you know, coming on behalf of Floyd Mayweather you know landing that wheel just landing some big and big telling blows on Conor McGregor then hey I'm telling you if Floyd looks sensational he stops Conor McGregor people are going to beg him to fight again so I'm just telling you that right now a lot of a lot of questions are going to be asked on Saturday a lot is riding on Saturday whether we think this is an exhibition match whether we think this is a bullshit fight or not People will watch and people will ask questions no matter what the outcome of this fight is. So, I'm, I'm out.